Greetings everyone and welcome to Stronghold Warlords! Finally it has been released and we are live and recording from within my Discord server. So uh, for those who want to also check it out, live streams and future ones, uh, even like this one today, feel free to join my Discord server or just watch it on my YouTube account. Uh, whatever you wish and prefer. Nonetheless, without further ado, let's just scout around. I'm gonna um, play a little bit um, and hopefully we can even finish the campaign as well, just check it out and all that. But first thing first, because this is a little bit different than previous struggles, we should play the tutorial first as always. So let's get going. And then afterwards we can continue on and check out the uh, campaigns, how Welcome they are, because I'm excited. Welcome to your Imperial oh. Castle, your highness. Mm -hmm. Here you will learn how to run an estate and keep your population content. Okay. Continue. To scroll around the map, push the mouse pointer to the... The mouse wheel zooms the map. And if you press and hold... Your stockpile is mm -hmm. an important storage building containing a wide variety of goods. Left click on the stockpile icon. Then left click on an empty space on the ground to place it. Here you go. Wood has been transferred from your starting goods into your stockpile and is now available to use in construction. Placing other storage buildings will later bring down other starting goods. Sure. For the castle to really take off, we will need to bring in peasants. At the moment, we are unpopular and the peasants' instincts are to leave our castle. Examine the popularity area and we will remedy this situation. Oh, what's the popularity area? This? That tax rate is the problem. High taxes provide lots oh, of yeah. gold, but will make you unpopular. Reduce the tax rate to no taxes. That will bring the peasants. We are now in positive popularity, and peasants will come to our castle. The higher our popularity, the faster they will come. However, should we ever become unpopular again, they will leave. Peasants are very fickle in my experience. If you ever need to boost popularity in a hurry, we can reduce the tax rate further to bribe our peasants with gold instead of taxing them. Mm -hmm. A more sustainable source of popularity is feeding our people. Now left click on the granary icon, then left click again on another empty spot to place it. Let's uh, spot it here. Excellent! The granary has now received its starting goods. Now we can really encourage our peasants by setting a generous ration level for rice. Set the rice ration level on the popularity controls to normal. It's normal. time to start expanding our town. At the moment, we have some peasants waiting in front of the keep. Let's give them some work to do. Now click on the wood camp and build four wood camps near the bamboo trees. When you are ah, notice how the idle peasants have automatically become woodcutters. This is a good thing, your highness, as there is usually a lot of wood needed in the construction of a village. I feel like a king with this housing excellence. <laughs> your highness, I can see a problem brewing. Left click on the granary you built earlier. The trouble with feeding our peasants, Highness, is that our rice stocks are dwindling. Rice is a staple food and our people will be very unhappy if they do not have any. We could reduce our rice ration level or buy some more rice, but I suggest we start rice production at the castle. Sure. Continue. Now let's get our rice farms up and running. Click on the food buildings icon and place down three rice fields near the granary. Well done, your highness. Our granary will soon fill with rice. Let's add some variety to our crops. Go to the build menu and place down two. Once these vegetable fields get going, we will be able to raise vegetable rations for extra popularity. However, we can already set the vegetable rations rate before any vegetables are delivered. Go to the popularity tab and set the vegetable rate. Good! Now our rations rate will update as soon as there are vegetables in the granary. However, one of our vegetable fields lies idle. This is because we've used up all of our available peasants. And although we are popular, peasants will not come as there is no more room. 
This keep gives us space for eight peasants. We can add more space by placing houses. Okay. Go to the build menu and place down a house. Does it matter if I place it further or not? Also, no. Apparently not. Well, how about the very place clever, your highness. You have solved the population issue. What's more, you have increased your popularity because peasants like living in high-quality houses. Higher quality houses will increase popularity, but are more expensive than lower quality houses. Okay. Click on the military buildings icon and place a barracks. We are going to arm some of the peasants. Sure, let's place it here. Now left click on the barracks to open with no weapons made. We can only arm our peasants with primitive tools. Click and create five spear. Our troops are ready and just in time. It appears that a ferocious tiger has been sighted near the village. Kill him. This is having a poor effect on popularity. Xin cứ nói, hãy tìm kẻ thù của chúng ta. Xin tuân theo ý của ngài. Chúng ta là những con mảnh hổ. Kill him. Come on, let's see. Hãy giết kẻ thù. Die bastard. Oh damn, that ain't good. Oh wait, never mind. Okay. Lần theo đường đi. Chúng tôi lên đường. Let's kill that tiger and restore calm to the castle. Select all your tribesmen by holding down the left mouse button and dragging a box around them. I've already killed them. Why are they leaving? Come on. Why? Băng qua rừng rậm. Đôi chân của chúng tôi đang di chuyển. Một ngày tuyệt vời để chiến đấu. Why are they leaving? I've already killed them. Huh? Okay. Hãy tìm kẻ thù của chúng ta. Do I have to um wait a little bit before they go away because? I've killed them. Strange. Hold on, I'll make another. Now our men are in range. Oh, there. Right click on the tiger to order. Well done, your oh, highness. There. I can see you are a natural leader of men. Chúng tôi đi ngay bây giờ. Đôi chân của chúng tôi đang di chuyển. Okay. I think my work here is done and the tutorial over. Would you like to continue here for a little while longer? Uh, no. Well, okay. So. First thing first, what we have learned here, in my opinion so far, because this game is really di uh, different and seems quite fun, is that we can get a wood as well, that's just a basic resource, our basic food resources is so far is rice and vegetables, which is truly really amazing as well, and you can separate them. Like, there's some different, you know, food resources as well, so for example, you have meat, you have tea rations too, and you have clothing as well. So there's uh, different ways to increase population. To even mention that you can also have a lot of houses. Hold on, let me actually shack Hovel. Quality, yeah. Hovel is a little bit a bad quality, but if you have shack, it's a lot better. Quality is plus two, so it's a lot better. Okay. So this is a lot better kind of quality thing, interesting, and I don't think you can make different things, hold on. Stocks. Run small negative, yeah, no, let's not do that. Do that. Okay, well, so, we learned that you can just basically place a building such as these, that you can do, hey, it costs even a bit expensive too. Usually back in the uh, Stronghold, what was it? Was it Legends or something that you could have built? Oh no, Stronghold Crusader 2. When you build it far away, it would have costed you a little bit of, uh, how should I say, distance. That if you place it too far away, that you wouldn't be able to, uh, you know, get much population out of it. But for this one, it doesn't really matter. But it is also amazing that they have added like two different variety of houses. But we're gonna still explore so on. So let's just quit and we have really done well. And it is also interesting to see what will happen further on. But this is just a small tutorial and a warm up video. So um hope you guys enjoyed it so far and stay tuned for more videos and for us to finally start with the campaign but anyway this was it for now so i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did give it a like button and subscribe to my channel if you knew and wish to support it do you want to recommend something we're getting together that's possible as well just write it down in the comments box below or join my discord server so we can have a chit chat about it till then i shall see you guys in my next video